Welcome back to the channel. A very different intro this morning. I've been very productive. I've done my um, shreddy challenge workout. Comment down below if anybody else is doing the shreddy challenge at the minute. All I can say is my legs are firmly dead, but I thought my hair is also way too long, but I thought I would do this little talky bit now and show you what. So Obviously I've had my breakfast and I have a strong coffee before I then do my workout to give me like a pre-workout boost. And then I'm gonna show you what I have after my workout. I have a little bit of work to do today. Sorry, my arm is aching. I can't even hold this camera high, but um, I have a little, a few meetings. So I'm going to time lapse that. And then later on, I am gonna get ready and we're gonna go into Nottingham, which is my local town because I'm meeting a friend. So let me go show you what I have after. I've worked out, I've worked out, I've had a quick shower, literally just to wash the sweat off me. I've done my hair, done my hair. I've put it in a little bobble and I've straightened my fringe and some pieces. I've got dressed and I'm gonna go show you my protein. I've just popped a bit of makeup on, as you can probably tell. Um, got ready for the day and I just thought I'd quickly show what I have. In terms of vitamins, I've only recently got onto these and I am only taking B12. I've literally started taking these, 
I take two. I take them, whoa. I take them with food after my breakfast with a glass of water. I'm not really sure what they're meant to do. Someone told me once B12 is like really important, um, any vitamin B, and it's really good for like reducing tiredness and fatigue and giving you a lot more energy. Don't know if it's a placebo effect, but I've been taking them for, I think a week now. And I do feel like I am being more motivated, but that might just be because of my shreddy challenge. Either way, it's making me feel more motivated, which I feel like is a good thing. Next, I don't actually have the correct exact scoop size. So I do have this tiny one, which basically I do three scoops of. It's basically to make out 30 grams of, this is the pea protein isolate, isolate, isolate. I really don't roughly know what I'm talking about. This is the first time I've ever took protein during this challenge. But I have found it really does help, the, or this helps with um, the muscle ache. You know when you wake up the next day and you're like, oh my God, I'm in agony. Since I've been having this, I haven't woke up in agony and it makes the next day a lot more easier to manage because you're not dying in pain. So I do about 30 grams of the pea protein and I got that in the strawberry flavor um, and it's vegan. And then I mix that with, I think it's 2.5 of this which is the green super superfood blend which again this is vegan and i think oh and i got this in the peach and mango flavor so peach and mango and strawberry it creates like this nice tropical drink and i have to admit i actually don't mind it i have had some protein powders in the past i'm literally getting it everywhere i have had some protein powders in the past that i have really not enjoyed but this blend of peach and mango and the green superfood to quickly just explain is like 27 different i'm quite bad at getting all my veg in and that's a good way to do it if you are struggling um i do find these bags are so hard to do up so i do just get a food bag peg and do it up that way because it's so much easier and then I just blend that with 250 milliliter of water. And I don't actually have a proper protein shaker, but I do find this is off a blender. So you know, like what you make smoothies with, with an ice cube. The ice cube just makes sure that the drink is like shook up better. And that is it. Just shake it up and drink it. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it does kind of look like swamp water, but, and it's not shaken properly yet. But I have to admit, I haven't been using it that long, but I do think it has worked. I mean, comment down below if you've got any advice. I have read the like guides and I have found that this is the best one for what I want to achieve. But if you've got any tips and tricks, just leave them down below. And, um, but yeah, so far, so good. Hello. there i don't know i always never know how to start this i'm like hi hello mm -hmm. just a quick update i'm in town now um but i'm running late so i'm not gonna hang around i'm not gonna ramble i've got everything i need to get and i'm gonna go meet my friend see you in a sec <laughs> I'm back it's a lot later obviously I have gone and seen my lovely friend um you just rested on my steering wheel but it you know weirdly I feel like this is an okay angle I've just put my seatbelt on um I had a lovely catch up with my friend sometimes you just you just need to go see a friend don't you I literally feel like it's hit reset and it was only for an hour, if that. Like, we literally just grabbed a coffee. I 
it's the tiniest bit of footage but I did just want to be present I wasn't on my phone I wasn't on my camera I didn't do anything we just had a really great quick catch up and it was lovely it was absolutely lovely I need to tell myself does, is anyone else like this is anyone else like so introverted socially I'm not introverted socially but like as in don't want to like the arranging and all of that and then you go and you think why on earth did I not do that earlier because that's made me feel so much better do you know what I mean sometimes you you don't put it off but sometimes it's like you can't be asked with the organization of it and then you go and then you're like oh my god why did I not do that earlier and it does literally just have to be a quick catch up with a coffee like it was on her break at work and it was amazing and we just had a catch up about work about social lives and then I've come away and I feel like I'm on cloud nine it's I need to tell myself to do it more because it was lovely and I hope she feels the same I know she'll feel the same um because we always do that thing we're like oh my god I'm so sorry I feel like I've just spoke 100 miles an hour at you and you haven't even told me anything about you but like we both do it it's weird like sometimes you meet people whether it's through work and you think I have only known this person for a year two years whatever it is and it feels like they've been in your life forever special people they are hold on to those people god that's got a bit deep got a bit deep um I also nipped into town and got some gifts. Um, it is John's birthday, who is basically Luke's dad, and he's a brandy drinker. So I got this glass, which I thought was quite cool. It's basically like, well, you can see, it's got this like little nipple section. It's got this little section here, and it has this metal ball in. So you put the ball in the fridge, freezer, so it's basically cold and then like as you do this with your gas as you like swill your glass you can see there the the ball like goes around and round and round in this like nipple section you can kind of see see you like freeze it you put it in there you put your drink in and then when you swill your drink it goes round with it which i thought it's quite like it's a nice glass but also it's quite like it's a novelty item but also it's a nice novelty item like you'll actually you lose actually use it and it's got like some tongs in it you can see there that's basically what it is um but i just thought it's a nice present but it's also quite a quirky one and yeah i think he'll like it i hope he likes it and then i also got this which is this i mean i don't even know what this is i'm not even gonna lie this is this if you like brandy maybe you know what it is but me personally it's not a drink that i drink i don't like it to me it tastes like burning just it just burns all of your larynx your throat no don't enjoy it but john on the other hand loves it and i thought i went i basically this is what it looks like this is the glass quite different quite i hope it's nice if you like brandy maybe you will know uh the, I basically went to like an independent shop so it's called Weavers um, near me and I went there and I was just like this is my budget can you point me in the direction of a good brandy that you think someone would like he said that one or oh, there was two there was, I was between he he got me like a VS and a VSOP I do not know the difference between them both but I said which one would you go for? And he went with that one. So I went with that one. And I hope John likes it. Bit different. Like it looks quite special. Do you not think? I think that looks quite special. It's in like a nice box. Maybe that's the brand name. I have no idea. But hopefully he likes it. I'm in a car park if anybody wondered. I am parked. But yes, that's everything. I think we're all caught up. I do need to pop to Aldi on the way home and pick up some bits there. So I might film that little Aldi haul, anyone? Maybe. But let's get driving and I'll catch up with you 
when we get there. Peace out. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. We're home now. Are you prepared? Are you ready for the most exciting? Call your friends. Call the press. They need to know. Come on, sit down. Hold on to your hats. We have got the most exciting Audi haul ever. Ever. First thing, bread. You're also under the, you're under the countertop. First thing, bread. Super Seed, Super Seed Farmhouse. That's the one I went for. Had all the array. I love a seeded bread. Seeded bread. You couldn't tell I was being sarcastic at the beginning. <laughs> seeded bread is the first thing. The second thing, even more exciting, toilet roll. <laughs> Toilet roll, wow, premium. Never scringe, here's a life lesson. Never scringe, scringe, scri scri scringe, screen, scr scrape, scringe, scrounge. Never go cheap with your toilet roll. I don't know what the word was I was looking for there. Scringe, scrounge, scrape. Can't remember, don't know. But scrimp, did I say scrimp already? Oh my God, <laughs> stop. Um, don't go cheap on your toilet roll. That is a life lesson right there. Cause you don't, you just don't want to, okay? Always go for the three ply. <laughs> life lessons there kids, life lessons. And then the third and the final thing, garlic flatbread. I am partial, I love garlic bread. And I could end the sentence there. I could end the sentence there. But garlic flatbread, bit of a different one. You know, it's not a baguette. And it's not the fat baguette. What's the fat baguette called? Sourdough? God. Uh, it's been a long day. Anyway, garlic flatbread, got a garlic flatbread. And do you know how much this was? 89p which is that cheaper expensive because i know that tesco do the baguette which is 32p is that sad that i know that probably but garlic flatbread and that's it that is my aldi haul i hope you enjoyed it um that's it now i'm gonna walk the dogs get that out of the way and then for dinner we are having carbonara carbonara it is one of my dishes i love to make it's so easy so easy and that's hence why i have this to go with the carbonara um i'm contemplating do i end the video now do you want to do see me cook carbonara i think i'll probably you know if you want me to cook the carbonara leave a comment down below and i'll save it for a separate video but i feel like this day in the life this has been a bit of a weird one day in the life vlog style video is probably long enough um so yeah that's my evening that's all i've got planned i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have as always please leave me a like down below i think that's everything so yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next week for another video bye for now